Okay. Okay. Mm. So from there, two point five kilometers, you can drive to the hyper point. This is where the end of the hyper point will start left and it's a view also. Okay. You can go ahead and look there. So depending on the road, if it's still light now, you can drive there. Mm. Turn back to your right, drive all the way up until the next hyper point. The what? The umbrella. Aha. Uh -huh. So you know where it's on the screen. You don't have some boxes here. Yeah, basically. Mm. So this is on the screen. So there are only three points. There are three points, but there are smaller ones, these ones. It's mm -hmm. so like this point, sunset point, the edge, there's a drum and it goes around here. Mm -hmm. yes. But these are the main ones. Okay. Yeah. okay. But uh, it's just one road, really. One I can't get lost. <laughs> okay. Hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm coming to you from the fish river canyon and i've just made it out to the very first viewpoint i'm gonna take you along with me so let's go on this little adventure the entrance to the main viewpoint of the fish river canyon offers a wide range of information about the canyon from its history the geology its flora fauna and attractions The Fish River Canyon is the second largest canyon worldwide. It is 161 kilometers long, 27 kilometers wide, and up to 550 meters deep. It is a narrow deep valley cut by a river through rock over millions of years. In this case, the Fish River. The Fish River is 800 kilometers long and is Namibia's longest river. It has its source in the eastern parts of the Nalkluft Mountains and after about 200 kilometers, the river flows into the Hardap Dam, which is the largest water reservoir of the country. After being retained, the Fish River does not carry water continuously. Only during the rainy season, the river might turn into a torrent. During the dry seasons, sporadic pools supply water to many animals. Okay, I don't want to talk too much over this video, but I want you to see it through my eyes. Hear the sounds as they were and just share this beautiful experience of visiting this very impressive natural beauty with me. So let's hear the wind whistle together and watch the canyon transform and the birds fly by. I'm walking up to another viewpoint. I didn't bring my hiking shoes today, <laughs> but I should be okay. Definitely shouldn't do that.
some people walk between the viewpoints. I wouldn't do that in this heat. I'd rather drive in between the points and look pretty. Another impressive view. You girl, I'm loving it out here. Guys, your girl is suffering from a serious case of liking things. So I came to this viewpoint that is a little bit further from the others and the road is terrible. So I am gonna go back to my place of accommodation now and just chill by the pool because it's very hot now. Yeah, so that was the Fish River Canyon. Thank you for coming along with me. So I finally made it out to the pool on my last day here and it was absolutely beautiful. I had been here for like 3 days but hadn't gotten a chance to come out here because I was too busy exploring the area. Because it was so beautiful out here, I decided to show you what it looks like from a higher point and it was stunning. This place is really beautiful. Oh, it looks so nice. Look at that. <laughs> oh wow. dinner time and I decided to head out early seeing as it was my last night here and the first time I was around it this time. Namibian sunsets are unmatched, always so beautiful wherever you find them.
This was the night of the Rugby World Cup final between South Africa and New Zealand and I touched my lens without realizing. Please excuse the bad picture. I loved my stay here. The staff were really nice, the food was great, and there was Wi-Fi I could connect to sometimes. The place is simply beautiful and I would give it a solid 6.8 out of 10 because of the cleaning situation and there was a gecko right above my bed when I arrived. Oh, and the twin bed story, I didn't like that. Anyways, I paid an amount of 4,572 Namibian dollars for the four nights I was here but they had some special running when I did my booking and this was a bed and breakfast booking so I paid another 1,402 Namibian dollars for my dinners and a bookmark that I bought. It was definitely good value for money and I would come back here.